kicking off a little bit today after another scorcher in western New York. It was so, so sticky muggy. yesterday. Despite the hot, muggy conditions, runners hit the road last night for the 40th running of the Corporate Challenge. 7 News reporter Natalie Fami caught up with a few at the finish line. The corporate challenge was in full swing for the first time in three years on Thursday afternoon. Runners were met with temperatures in the 80s, plus some wind. Here's what they say about that weather, plus some reminders for running in the heat this summer. The biggest challenge that we have over running during the summer is to make sure that you're not being beat down by the heat and the humidity. The heat and humidity, not ideal for any runner. Usually I figure I'm going to run 15 seconds a mile slower when it's warm. When you have hot, humid days like today, don't be afraid of them, embrace them, but get out and manage, uh, do a manageable distance. Chief of Sports Medicine at Excelsior Orthopedics, Jason Matuzak, tells me the biggest challenge on hot days is maintaining a low core temperature. So he says don't ignore warning signals and stay hydrated. Ice cold water is fine, but probably also better on you than in you sometimes too. If people are stumbling or feeling uneasy, first thing that you want to do is sit. Heat can kind of creep up on you um, and hit you out of nowhere. So there's always, for me at least, a little more nerves when it's really warm. Runners say even with today's weather, being with 6,000 other participants helped keep their spirits up. Not ideal conditions for sure, but you know, everybody's got a race in it, so we made the most of it. For some, this is an opportunity to see familiar faces yet again. With the whole uh, virtual working and working from home, home. I don't see them very often, so good chance for some team building. Despite today's weather challenges, runners tell me they're already excited for next year's corporate challenge. Natalie Fami, 7 News, Buffalo.